I specialize in cryptography. Come in, deputy. Take a seat. This won't take long. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. I can understand that. He can be uncompromising, but he looks after his people. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you met an informant who asked for your help, but you talked him out of it. It might also have helped. You might have learned something new or gained a valuable contact. You should take every opportunity to lend a hand when someone needs it. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Freestar Ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Makes sense. I reckon he figures he's spent enough time there already. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If you have questions before you head out, ask the Marshal. You've made good progress. Take a look around. It's a good bet. Here, browse to your heart's content.
the ship that landed not too long ago? And we are now in stable orbit.
must be getting desperate sending a lone deputy out here. But I'll give credit where it's due. You're a hell of a pilot. If you came here seeking justice, it's waiting for you inside. I'm a man of action. I've got no use for lies. So when I tell you that you're being manipulated, you know I'm telling the truth. You think the Council of Governors really cares about anything but themselves? They're greedy and corrupt. What the? You're a tool in the hands of the unworthy, just like I once was. I was 
was loyal. I followed orders, and I led good men and women to their deaths. I'll carry the stain of that dishonor to my grave.
First Cavalry was the greatest fighting force the Freestar Collective has ever seen. At the Battle of Nera, the First Cavalry was destroyed. Why? Because the generals got scared and asked for a truce. I've got no sympathy for cowards, or for the people who put them in power. I've also got no sympathy for those who do their bidding.
justice? Well, what about justice for my soldiers? Minutes away, minutes from winning the battle and the war when the ceasefire order came down. Now there's a debt of honor and the... Us, the people of the Free Star Collective are going to pay.
believe it. You just took on some of the best mercenaries in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. You fought because you had to, and you fought well. Don't apologize for that. More importantly, you survived. Most soldiers don't. I know, because I'm the one who led them to their death. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watch brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless, but spineless leaders gave up on us even when victory was within our grasp. You really want to know? Because you might not like the answer. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant, thinking you fight for a noble cause. But if you still want the truth, <laughs> I'll shatter that illusion for you right now. <laughs> we'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. I refused to work for a shadow client, so we agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron Hope showed up. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar Space. Sure I did. The money was good, but the payback was the real reward. If I could avenge my men, make some credits, and eventually expose a member of the Council, well... <laughs> that... that, my friend, is my definition of justice. Don't bother. I'm gonna make this easy for you, deputy. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand, no compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Now my unit's waiting for me. And I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Goodbye, deputy.